Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of collaboration, coming together to build something strong and long-lasting, working together as a team. Um, there's this feeling of being quite practical about how you're approaching this, um, really focusing on the, on the details, the foundation here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the King of Swords, Air Energy. The Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Queen of Swords, A Energy. So we've got the King and the Queen of Swords, and they're both facing away from each other. And in the middle, we have the Five of Pentacles, which is a card of uh, lack, a card of feeling left out in the cold, rejection. So this person could be someone where you've had some sort of fallout with. It's been some sort of letdown that has occurred. And you, you guys mo may both be, you know, very in your head about the situation because with the swords energy there's a very mental energy here there's also a feeling of trying not to show each other that you're hurt you know trying not to show each other that uh, your feelings are involved here there's this feeling of putting on um a bit of a brave face or even just a, a logical kind of face like you, you don't want to look too bothered or emotional um, but with this three of pentacles, it does look like you guys will be coming together to work on something. But it's like you're taking a very rational approach. You're like you're being practical about it. Both people here, they they care about each other. But there's this feeling of not letting that be known, not showing the feelings too much. Um, they, uh, you guys may just be taking things slowly and not wanting to be too emotionally invested too soon. Um, there's something about just building something in a practical sense. Um, perhaps there's this feeling of staying together because there's this feeling of um, it just makes sense on paper. There's, you know, there's other responsibilities keeping you together. Um, but with the Queen and the King of Swords facing away from each other, it looks like there's a lot that hasn't been expressed to each other. Like you guys have held back when it comes to communicating, especially about how you feel or how the situation made you feel. Um, there's this feeling of really trying to look brave or strong. But on the inside, there's still some hurt, and this could be on both sides. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Aries. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So it, there is this feeling of a lot of emotion. It's even overflowing. Um, there isn't. There is going to be an opportunity here to express one's feelings, um, a, an opportunity to have a heart to heart. But it looks like it may be delayed, um, especially because both people here look like they want to appear like they don't care too much. But I do see a reconciliation with the Three of Pentacles and with this Ace of Cups, an opportunity to express yourself. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Ten of Cups, Water Energy, and the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so both people are still very invested in the situation and there is this view of each other um, as being meant to be. This person, you match each other with this King and Queen of Swords. There's something about you guys matching each other's energy. And with the Ten of Cups, you perhaps you guys had this before this Five of Pentacles situation happened. Um, but there's, it's like you guys can get back to that. So there's this feeling of restoring a connection. 
you know really saving something but it's going to require efforts with the chariot there's almost this feeling of moving mountains overcoming obstacles it's not something that's happening overnight it's not easy but it requires two people who are willing and determined and it looks like you're both willing and determined because the chariot can be a lot of willpower and with that three of pentacles there's this feeling of fixing things focusing on the details giving more to the situation and with the six of pentacles is um giving to the situation trying to balance things out trying to achieve that balanced partnership again trying to restore things um with the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles something could have came in between you it could have even been like someone was giving to something or someone else and this really um, affected the trust in the situation but it does look like you guys will have an opportunity to discuss something and to repair a situation to clear the air in some way okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you aries have the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini so there's again it's like you and this person will have some sort of communication that will be very productive and helpful to moving this connection forward okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so there's this need to take off that mask that unbothered mask because i do see there's a lot of emotions beneath the surface and there's this feeling of needing to really reveal your 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 truth being kind of vulnerable or open with each other um this will really help the connection okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you we have lily majesty and virtue the lily is the emblem rare of many virtues good and rare so there's definitely a feeling of mutual respect here and um you know you guys actually both have these strong feelings for each other you guys may both even view each other as each other's um end goal like someone that you want to settle down with and you know really succeed and have a emotionally fulfilling kind of connection here um, I do see a very respectful communication taking place between you and someone. Um, it may be slow to start because there's this feeling of both people not wanting to get their emotions too invested. But um, there's something about opening up, being honest, emotionally honest, helping this connection and you will receive answers. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Aries. So we have surrendered to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.